Hugh Billy Antro. Here we are, guys, back with another episode of the Walk and Talk, episode 42. So, today's episode, guys, we have a custom on here. Our first custom on the on the show. So, what I'm going to do here is I've already unboxed this. I had to do a, a Agent Malcolm, a gent named Malcolm, wanted me to. Uh, do a little work on this one because this this knife was purchased on the secondary market purchased used and it has a little patina on the blade so he wanted me to clean the blade up for him so i done a little work on it so i'm going to skip and show you this knife how it was when i first received it so you can check that out now Okay, now that you know what it looked like, as you see, it is a Gene Wiseman custom. It is a red G10 long clip, D2 blade steel, and the model is a Wiseman front pocket. So, some of you may already know what it is by looking at it, but just if you don't. Now, I don't know much about these customs, these custom slip joints. I'm just I don't I don't have much experience with them and no reason by, by that I mean, not that I dislike them or anything I just all the ones I like are like super expensive so you know don't have any I'm mostly into G C and case and stuff like that but we finally got one on the channel and I'm it's a it's a beauty I'll tell you that as you've already seen it just had some use on it she looks a lot better now. So after a little work, about a little, about two and a half hours, I put into this cleaning this up. I done a detail clean on it. From what I understand, it had a lot. It was uh, used to cut steaks, food and stuff. Had a, you could tell that it had a lot of steak sauce in the pivot and had some gunk in the pivot. So I done an ex a good clean detail job on it. So. Let's get to it. Enough of the yakking. If you'd like to help support the channel, please take a look at the link in the comments and uh, think about supporting the channel. We are trying to get a new camera. But anyways, here we are. There she is. All spiffy. Let's take a look at her. You see the finished product. There she is. Still got a little oil on the blade. Let me mop that off. Got oil on it. I got her all oiled up. There she is. I rebrushed the blade on it. Just a little hobby of mine that I do. I, I started doing this a couple years ago. I find old pocket knives. I just, you know, old, not in very good shape. I, I just clean them up, try to do the best I can on them. And this one is, this one was a prime suspect for a good, uh, uh, I guess a refinished job because it hadn't been dropped or anything. Didn't have no deep scratches. So, it cleaned up great. I rebrushed all the all the uh, metal, anything that was brushed from the from the I don't know if you'd say factory, but from the maker. And I rebrushed it all, brass the brass around the pivot there, and their pins. Still see it had a little steak sauce in it right there, and some spots i don't i'm gonna leave it up to the to the owner to he may want to polish this this is brushed but it's brushed this way horizontally as in the blade blade is brushed vertically this is horizontal so i couldn't really get into that so he may want to polish that i'm gonna leave that up to him he was just mainly concerned with me doing the blade but i kind of just went over it, everything Cleaned this up best as I could, but maybe he can get something to get those spots off down in there. You can see it. It was gunked up pretty good. So maybe he can take care of that. But there she is. Nice to get the oil off the back of it too. There. It's got oil all over it. There's the back. There's the front. As you can see, it was pretty faded and tarnished. 
Very nice knife. Let's take a look around her. Has a little, I don't know, like I don't like I said, I don't know much about these customs. A little issue with the the plunge cut right there on the liner there. Kind of uneven a little bit. You can see right there. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if that's common to these knives or not. But it's not that big of a deal, I don't guess. Probably wouldn't notice it if I hadn't uh, said anything about it. It's a little, a little down right there. Got a little bit of a gap right there. Uh, just barely catches your nail right there, as you can see. There she is. Refinished all this. It just had, you know, it had some pocket wear in it, especially on the back spring back here. Got all that straightened out. Man, she is she looking good now, though. I love that red. The pull is about, that's very close to an eight. Probably seven and three quarter. Nice snap to it, and it's just as firm on the clothes. Very nice on the clothes there. It's still good and sharp too. It looks to seem to have the original factory, or the, I guess we're going to call it the factory edge, and even though it didn't come from a factory. Still good and sharp. It, it'll, it'll shave. It'll barely shave, but it'll shave. Like I said, it's just cut some stakes from what I've been told. Very nice knife. I wouldn't have no issue with owning one of these. It's 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 a nice one. From what I've looked up, this is probably one of the best ones that I like from what I've seen of some of the wise men. I love that red. I'm a sucker for red. Very nice knife. Like I said, that's the only thing that I see that could be an issue there with the fit and finish there. I don't know. I'm supposing they relieve those liners right there to, so it won't rub, rub on your tang here. You can see it's relieved right there too. Blade center is off just a hair there. Very nice. It's my first encounter with a custom, so. I believe that's going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, I thank you guys for tuning in. Just, just a beautiful eye. It looks great. I love that red. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in, and, uh, stay tuned. More knives on the way. So we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Here, Billy, over and out of here. Peace.